How to create navigation menu in high level. Hey there, my name is Kerry Canole. In this particular video, I'm going to teach you how to do this by answering the following three questions. Question number one, how to find a navigation element in high level. Question two, how to add the navigation element to a page in high level. And question three, how to edit the navigation element in high level. So we're going to hop out of here into my demo sub account in high level. And you might be here on the dashboard or somewhere else. What you want to do is navigate down to sites. Then from sites, we want to decide if we want to add this navigation element to a funnel, a website, or a store. We'll do it in a funnel since this is where we are by default. And then what we can do is we can open up any of our funnels and add it to any of our funnels we want to. So we can just add to this appointments one. And we can add a navigation menu to this first page with the calendar if we want to. All we do is edit the page. Once we edit the page, we just have to decide where we want to add the navigation element. In this case, we do have the calendar here. So we will probably add a new section that's full width and then add a row. We'll just call it one column. And we're going to put this at the top, of course. And then we're going to add element and we're going to find our navigation or menu uh, item. So we will then add it here, navigation menu. So we just click on that, and this is what it looks like by default. It allows you to put a logo in, your business name, and then the menu items over here, and even has drop down menu items, which is pretty nice. So then we have our navigation menu settings over on the right. So I'm going to move me out of the way. Okay. And so some of the basics are right here menu items. This is your home about team, which is nested. If we don't want it nested, we can drag. I think we can drag it out. I thought we could drag it out. Yes, and it'll just pop it into the menu like that. If we want to nest it again, we just drag it over. I thought. <laughs> now it's not working. Okay, so we can hit edit on that. And then what we can do is drag it up underneath. All right, so that isn't working for me like I wanted to for some reason. There we go. Now it's nested. So you just have to wait till it stops moving in the nested spot and it, it makes it nested again. All right. And then if you want to edit any one of these, you just click on it. You can then the change it from a go to website URL to go to a step, go to open a pop up if you want. You can put um, a URL in here or use a hashtag with a section element. You can open in a new tab if you want that turned on. You can delete it or you can update it or submit it. Okay. Then we can change the menu size here. So if we don't like how small it is, we can make it bigger. Then we can also change the font weight. We can change uh, mobile view icon is bars, it says here. So if we wanted to see what it looks like in mobile view, we can click this mobile mode. We can see the bars right there, the hamburger menu essentially. Um, if we want to, we can also change the color, of course. We have a ho hover text color. We can have a hover background color. It says works only with desktop view, so on mobile that won't show up, but that's a pretty cool feature. Then we have um, horizontal spacing, vertical spacing. So if we want more spacing between the words, we can expand it that way. I like to set that up around 10 to 15, somewhere in that nature. Uh, logo and menu, I don't prefer to use that, so I'll usually turn that off. Uh, brand logo configuration so I turn that off actions image actions none we don't have to worry about that now we're going to go to the advanced section under advanced section we have line height text transformation visibility so if we don't want to use this on a mobile um, version we can just uncheck or unselect the mobile we can add a border we have drop down item spacing it's set to 10 so you can change that you can change the background color of the hover background and then the color of the text itself and the hover color. And then it has headline in menu, which is basically the name, business name there, right? See, I can turn it on and off. So I don't know if I like that either with the headline and menu. So I usually will turn that off. And then it says header layout is default. And we can do reverse, which means now it's going to be right justified. And usually most menus are right justified like this. And so what I like to do is kind of have these settings set for my navigation menu overall. And then what I would do is I would typically put my own logo in here. 
So the way I would do that is I would actually add, I would actually do a two column row here instead of a one column row. I'd put this element down here like so. I would get rid of, I would get rid of this row and then I would add my logo to the left here. So I'll just pick an image uh, thing and then we'll resize this down to what it should be. So with maybe 150, something like this. And then I would expand it over as such. So my menu's got plenty of room to grow if I want to add more pages or more menu items. And I still have my logo. And it's just going to look a little cleaner. I can make the logo a little bit bigger and such. And I still am using the uh, navigation menu element, right? So there you have it. That's how you add it. And then just click Save when you're done configuring it the way you want it. Double check how it looks on mobile. Because if you don't like how it's looking on mobile, you may want to create something different altogether, which is kind of what I suggest you do because I don't love not seeing my menu items without having to click on that. And then that brings up a pop over and it's okay, but it's not my favorite way of doing it. So I usually will just make a text-based menu that fits nicely on a mobile and looks good on mobile. As always, appreciate each and every one of you for showing up and watching this video. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Just leave me a question below this video in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it for you as soon as possible. Okay, before you go, I want to share with you how you can get access to what I consider the biggest, best, and probably baddest high-level bonus package you'll ever find on the internet worth darn near, if not over, $14,000. All right, so below this video, you can click on a link that will take you to this page you see in front of you. Once you see this page, you click this black button. This pop-up will pop up. You will enter your name, email address, and phone number. Click this black button, and once you submit your information, you'll be taken over to the high-level bonuses page that explains everything you're going to be receiving. So there's another talking head video of me explaining the benefits to my high level bonus package. And if you scroll on down, you can see everything that's included, including my high level insiders flagship mastermind membership program that's absolutely 100% free just by signing up for either Marketing Engines AI, my SaaS, or through one of my affiliate links for high level itself. So you can get all the information you need about that on this particular page. This program includes high-level masterclass for beginners. So this gives you a series of videos that will teach you everything you need to know about high-level. You will also receive a high-level agency masterclass for beginners. So if you are on the 297 agency plan or better, the Pro or SaaS white label plan, you will also have everything you need to know about configuring the agency and or white label pro SaaS plan. From there, you're also going to get access to my marketing engines, AI, various proprietary engines that I am building out in my marketing engines, AI SaaS. You can get beta access to these. So the only ones that are going to be getting access to these before Marketing Engines AI actually officially launches on 525.25 are those who sign up through my affiliate link or Marketing Engines AI at this point as beta access users. So you're going to get access to the AI appointment booking engine, the AI birthday celebration engine, the AI sales funnel website engine, the AI lead alert engine, the AI reputation review engine, the AI customer referral engine, Plus, there's going to be several more of these engines added to Marketing Engines AI platform in the coming weeks and months ahead. On top of that, you're also going to get access to the Foundation Workshops. Now, the Foundation Workshops are built out to help you grasp the order of operations that are necessary in order to be proficient and be able to build things out in a timely manner for yourself and or your clients. So week number one, we start with custom fields and custom values. Week number two, we talk about forms and surveys. 
Week number three, we talk about calendars. Week number four, we talk about pipelines and opportunities. Week number five, we talk about email services. Week number six, we talk about phone numbers with the A2P10 DLC compliance and application process. Week seven, we talk about payments and invoices. Week number eight, workflows and automations. Week number nine, funnels and websites. Week number 10, trigger links and URL redirects. Week number 11, contacts, lists, and tags. Week number 12, conversations and conversation AI. Week 13, Google reviews and reviews AI. And week 14, communities and memberships with more to come after that. You'll also be receiving marketing engine workshops specifically geared towards helping you fully understand each one of those aforementioned marketing engines, AI engines that you're gonna get beta access to. So reputation management service workshop, the customer referral service workshop, the birthday marketing service workshop, etc. You'll also get access to weekly live Q&A calls. So you get a chance to get all of your questions answered and we'll keep you up to date with the latest tools, resources, strategies, tactics, and processes that you need in order to be successful with high level. There's also a private community where you can mastermind with and get the support of a select group of like-minded individuals that are as committed to building their business as much as you are. And if you keep on going, you can read some testimonials and I'll even tell you exactly how to cancel. You can cancel at any time, 24-7, 365, 366 if it's a leap year, and you can even cancel while you're on the pot. So I show you step-by-step step on how to cancel your account if high level is not right for you or Marketing Engines AI. So again, this total bonus value is $14,099 and counting. I'm sure it'll be increasing as I develop and launch additional engines. And if you have any questions regarding what's all included in the bonus package or high level insiders, I have a frequently asked questions area that you can pretty much get all the answers to your questions there. However, if you have additional questions, feel free to reach out and I'll do my best to answer them for you. All right, once you've decided to sign up through my high level link or through Marketing Engines AI, either one on this particular page, you will click one of these black buttons. Once you do that, it'll say try high level now for free and you will get a chance to either sign up for Marketing Engines AI, which I will give you a 30-day trial of it. So I give you a little better option than just signing up for high level where you can only get a 14-day trial. However, if you're not interested in signing up for Marketing Engines AI for whatever reason, and yet you want to get started with high level, try it out. You can start your 14-day free trial of high level on the starter agency plan by clicking this link. If you have already started a trial through another affiliate, but you have not yet paid, so you're still in the trial period, you can extend your free trial of high level starter agency plan by clicking on this link. If you want, you can start your 30 day, I'm sorry, this is actually a typo. You can start your 14 day trial of high level pro SaaS plan by clicking this link. And the best news is even if you already have high level through someone else and you're paying month to month or what have you, you can upgrade to the high level agency plan from the starter plan. Let's say you're on the starter plan and you want to move up to the agency plan, you can upgrade here and still get access to all my bonuses, including high level insiders. You can also upgrade to the high level pro SaaS plan, which is the white label plan by clicking on this link, or you can purchase or upgrade to the high level annual plan by using this last link. If you choose to upgrade to the White Label Pro SaaS plan, then you will click on this link and it will take you over to this page here where it says Upgrade to High Level Pro Today. You will have to input the agency relationship number, which you can find right here, agency code. So you just copy and paste this in. And then of course you can use my code ZZYYZZX as well. And then if you are interested in only starting your 14 day free trial of the high level pro SaaS plan, and you click that link, it'll take you over here where you can see everything you're getting and click on start a free trial of the pro SaaS plan today. All right, so that's everything that's included inside of my high level bonus 
package. So just pick the option that works best for you, depending on your situation. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. You can either leave me a comment below the video, or if you know how to get in touch with me otherwise, you can send me a message via one of those other options. I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Thank you so much, and I look forward to helping you learn and advance your skill set with high level inside of high level insiders. I can't wait for you to join us. Hope you have a good one. We'll speak with you real soon.